Today I'm going to show you five different methods on how to make money with Cinema 4D. What's going on everyone? My name is Tom from Dread Labs and I'm a graphic designer and visual artist. On my YouTube channel I do a lot of Cinema 4D tutorials and I often get the question if I can repeat that same tutorial in Blender. The reason for that usually is because Blender is free and Cinema 4D is a paid software. And I can understand that if you're just a beginner and you're just starting out with 3D, it might be a little bit difficult for you to start making money with such expensive software. First off, if you're still a student, you can actually get Cinema 4D for practically free if you want to learn about it a little bit more. But in this video, I want to showcase five different things you can do in Cinema 4D and how to make money with it. And hopefully this will help you kickstart your journey as a 3D artist. So without any further ado, let's dive straight into the video. So the first way to make money is to create 3D models and sell them on websites like Turbo Squid and CG Trader. These are both online marketplaces that sell 3D assets. 3D modeling is kind of a thing on its own and it usually takes a lot of time to model a certain character or a certain object and if you do 3d art you sometimes just want to save yourself some time and buy a model instead of just creating it yourself so if you really like hard surface modeling or sculpting these are two ways you can create models yourself and if you don't plan on doing anything with them you can always just sell them on websites like turbo squid you can share your models for free but i've also seen models that are up to 350 dollars or something like that and i think these websites get checked out by game developers but also visual artists so the market is pretty huge but if you find a specific niche or you're able to create a model that's not on their website yet you might be able to rack up a couple of sales so another way to make money with cinema 4d is actually through people that don't use 3d software a lot of graphic designers who can't be bothered getting into 3d might still want to use 3d renders in their work at some point if you simply make these scenes or images render them and sell them on your website or websites like gumroad or creative market you might be able to make some pretty good money i did this myself on my own web store and so far me and the users on my channel made over fourteen thousand dollars so far using 3d renders alone this is over the time span of a couple of years, of course, but it's still a pretty nice amount of money for a passive income. The next thing you can do is create abstract stock footage using 3D models, fields, effectors, basically anything that you can do inside Cinema 4D. For example, here on the screen, you can find a couple of abstract backgrounds or stock footage. And if you learn how to animate in Cinema 4D, you can even sell them as video files and loop them, for example. And these should be able to sell pretty good on stock photo websites. Next up, we have the most obvious one, and that's creating art or animations based on commission work. For me personally, this is by far the most profitable way to make money using Cinema 4D. Over the past couple of years, I've been able to make a pretty good living out of these. I don't know the exact numbers, but I've made thousands and thousands of dollars doing commission work with Cinema 4D. Of course, you can always look at super cool cover artworks or video animations, lyric videos, but of course you can always look into more corporate stuff like doing product videos. You can also use the push apart workflow to do these breakdowns of how certain parts of a machine are working, stuff like that. So don't hesitate to find what your niche is and start taking commissions for it. So before we turn to the final one, which is pretty much the easiest one and the quickest one to make money, especially if you're a beginner, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my Patreon channel. I've been making YouTube videos for graphic designers and visual artists for over four years now. And in that time, I've made about 500 videos to help you become a better graphic designer, visual artist, animator, creative in general. And all of those videos are available for free. If it was up to me, I would always keep creating videos for you guys for free. But of course, that's only possible thanks to my Patreon channel. Coming up with ideas, writing scripts, recording and editing these videos takes a lot of time. That's time that I wouldn't have if I was forced to take a day job in order to pay my rent. I'm fortunate enough to keep making enough money with Red Labs to keep up the weekly videos for free, but it's all thanks to my patrons. If you want to become one yourself, there's a link down in the description. And becoming one comes with a lot of perks. First of all, you'll get access to all of the project files from all of my videos on my channel. That's over 100 Photoshop, Cinema 4D, Illustrator and After Effects files for you. You'll also get access to my past live streams where you can learn my full design process. And finally, you'll also get an exclusive role in my Drit Labs community server, where there's over 3000 creatives talking about life as a creative, giving each other feedback, asking and answering questions, and much more. There's also a slightly more expensive tier that comes with exclusive tutorials, such as how to make this YTK Ray Flyer, in which I use Cinema 4D, as well as an additional 100 project files for my Creatober series that contain a lot of Cinema 4D and Photoshop files. Like I said earlier, if you want to become a patron, there's a link down in the description. But if you do not have the budget to become a patron yourself, leaving a like 
and a comment on this video does a ton of work for the algorithm. You can also subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and if they don't pop up in your feed you can also click that notification button so you'll never miss a new tutorial video. With all of that being said I want to give a huge shout out to all of my Patreon members because without you there wouldn't be a Dreadlabs. Now let's get back into the final tip on how to make money in Cinema 4D. So this is something that I did when I was just learning 3D. I knew enough to do some commission work but I didn't know how to make these crazy 3D scenes. I knew a lot of DJs who wanted to do visuals or people who have their own YouTube channel and stuff like that. And what I simply did was getting their logo and turning it into a 3D animation or a 3D logo. This can be done fairly quickly in Cinema 4D as you might know. And since they're done so quickly, you can take on a lot of projects at the same time and just render them all out when you go to sleep, for example. And since the project sizes are pretty small, you don't have to charge the world for it, of course. As I got more and more skilled in Cinema 4D, however, I've also done visuals that are higher quality for for example for giant festivals and stuff like that. So there you have it guys, five ways to make money with Cinema 4D. I hope this video was useful to you and I hope this helps you considering becoming a part of the Cinema 4D gang. To me personally, it was way easier to learn than Blender. I'm not saying that either of those softwares is better than the other, that's just my personal experience with both of those. Like I said, if you want to support my channel, you can always check out my web store for assets or become a member of my Patreon channel. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And with all of that being said, this is Tom from Dreadlabs tuning out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.